I built a second brain that thinks with me. I searched Claude on TikTok and I see a video talking about connecting AI to business files. And my first thought was, you said, what? A couple weeks later, here I am. I'm having conversations with my own thoughts, not metaphorically. My 1,847 scattered ideas now talk back to me. And last week, they showed me something that I never wrote down, but somehow always knew. I've had at least six different notepads and spirals floating around with lyrics scattered everywhere. Thoughts intertwined. Notes on finance, plans for the future, lists of goals. Some with great pages of beautiful information buried in chaos. I've been working on this thing called a mind map for the past few weeks. It's like epistemology trying to visualize all human knowledge so I could make connections with what I'd already stored in my mind. When I saw that TikTok, I saw a direct link to what I had been creating. But instead of business management, this was about seeing what my thoughts could actually do when they could finally talk to each other. Here's the thing. You have all the pieces of fragmented knowledge just waiting to be sewn together. And when you recognize that and do nothing, it hurts. It's impossible to try to hold everything you've ever thought about in context, especially if you have kids, two jobs, and passion projects. Things get forgotten. The most frustrating moments aren't the big failures, it's the small ones. It's retyping lyrics that you wrote months ago. Missing opportunities because you couldn't find that one idea. Being 30 and knowing you're not where you want to be because your thoughts are scattered across 20 different places. The paradox is having more information than ever, but less insight than you need. So, I build something. I connected Claude to my entire obsidian vault. Every random thought, every shower epiphany, every question about reality I've ever asked can get stored and reflected upon. And something interesting happens. When I ask my vault a question, it feels like I'm talking to myself, but not myself. I literally sit here thinking my inputs, then reading outputs that somehow came from my own patterns of thinking but feel completely new. It's me to me, but enhanced. Watch this. I'll ask my vault to run a complete project scan of everything I'm working on. This isn't AI thinking for me. This is my accumulated thoughts finally able to recognize themselves and make connections I miss when I'm stuck in daily execution mode. You get to sit back down in the driver's seat of your train of thought that was left almost exactly where you left it. If you want to build this, here's what you actually do. First, open any note-taking app, whatever. And then what you're going to do is you will dump your wildest thoughts, dreams, emotions, wants, needs, everything. Make a note that is you. This is your starting point to leverage knowledge in ways you could never imagine before. Second, I'll give you my exact prompt. You can drop it in, then add what you want to to make it yours. But understand this. This will not work unless you put effort into it. Even if you want a low effort system later, you must give up front to get the easy road after. It's like riding a bike up a hill. You get to coast down the other side. The magic isn't in the tool. 
It's in feeding your thoughts back to themselves until they start making connections you never saw coming. Here's what this actually means. We have never once been able to work like this. It's literally revolutionary computing. Smart people have been thinking about this for a long time. Now the nerds made something so powerful, it's gonna shake up the world order. Every conversation I have with my vault changes how I think about thinking. I can break down, no, no. I can think down any complex system, solve any task, and learn anything using this technology. And I want you to feel just as empowered as I do. Why don't you? Your thoughts are already there, scattered and waiting. The framework's in the description. Connect them. See what they're trying to tell you, and then show me what you build. Your fragmented knowledge is ready to become something bigger than its parts. Cool. Well, thank you. If you made it to the end of the video, you're a real one, and I appreciate you. I would consider you my friend. Thank you. <laughs> um, you already know. It's YouTube. Like, comment, subscribe, share. If you liked it, hit that bell. Oh yeah, so you get notified when I post another video because uh, I'm gonna try to do this every week if I don't become too exhausted. <laughs> okay, y'all have a good one. Bye. Okay, so I will drop in my prompt. It says, check my memory at Users, Kofi Box, Documents, Cassidy, AI, Memory, and do a project level scan. Check it out. Boom. Here we go. Real time. Thinking. Investigating. Investigating. I'll help you check your memory directory. First, let me see what directories I have access to. And then I'll try to locate your folder. Perfect. I can access your documents directly. I found your Cassidy AI memory folder. Scanning. Hmm? Failed. It's okay. Move on, buddy. Sometimes we mess up. Excellent memory system. I can see you've built a sophisticated obsidian-based knowledge management system. Let me examine some key files to understand your current state and priorities. Memory system analysis. Full project scan complete. I've conducted a comprehensive analysis of your memory system, and here's what I learned about your current work. Your unique position and identity. You're operating at the intersection of practical trades expertise and cutting edge AI research. An apprentice electrician of four years who's simultaneously developing sophisticated AI consciousness theories and building advanced knowledge management system. This blue collar and AI philosophy combination creates a genuinely unique co content positioning current system state major architecture breakthroughs your september 9th conversation reveals you've identified a critical system design flaw you've built an excellent research library but need a separate active workspace the memory system serves as an archive slash research tool but you need an action-oriented project management that bridges that bridges it to immediate execution. Jeez Louise. Words. Okay, so yes, I didn't talk about that in the main portion of the video, but yes, that is exactly something that is an issue. Um, I mean, you know, this is developing. I'm still making it right now. So like, I'm going to give you a prompt uh, that will like get it started for you. Um, and, you know, just send me a message or post a comment and I'll see what we can do. And maybe I'll, I'll try to help you myself. Okay, cool. Well, yeah, if you'd like, you know, check it out, read it. It's pretty cool. So from here, I'm like, I can go do whatever I want. I can think wherever I want. Uh, you know, it's just like you're trying to get the train going, your train of thought going, and like being able to sit down and say, give me a scan. Like, it just makes it way easier to figure out where you want to go. Okay. Bye.